Welcome everyone. Today we will learn together how to delete old data and keep the latest. And of course we will do this based on dates. Let's go. As you can see now, we have a table with a column for names, followed by a column for recording dates for each recorded transaction, and then some numbers recorded for each employee. For example, if we open the name filter and select Ava, we will find three existing processes and each process has a date. And here we want to keep only the most recent data, which is that date. We will remove the filter, then we must rearrange the data according to dates. We must arrange the dates from newest to oldest, or in other words, from largest to smallest. How will we do it? We will make a selection for each table. Then we go to the Home menu. Go to Sort and Filter. Then we choose Custom Sorts. A dialog box will appear. Do you see this field called Sort By? Here we are asked to choose the column through which we will arrange the data. Of course, we will choose the date column. From this box called Order, we will choose the sorting type from newest to oldest. Then we press OK. We will notice that all data is arranged from recent to oldest. Now we will add a new column at here by right-clicking here and selecting Insert. Then we stop here at the beginning of the first cell. And we go to the FX icon. Let's choose the count if equation. We search for it here and then double-click on it. In the rectangular field called Range, we will write a 2, which represents the first cell in the employee names. Then we press F4 to freeze it. Then we write colon, and we write a 2 again. Yes, we will write the starting point is the same as the end point, with the starting point frozen. Then at the bottom in the criteria field, we will write a 2 as well. Now, because I am working on a dynamic table, it will apply the equation to the rest of the cells as you can see. Now, we have a number for each employee's name in order of frequency. If we open the filter together and select number one from that list, this means that this data is the most recent. Why? Because we have previously arranged the data from recent to oldest. This also means that all the data that falls under the number two means that it is the oldest, as well as the number three. So, if we now select the data under numbers two and three, this means that we have selected the oldest data in the table. Then we select and delete it from the table. This means that all the remaining data in the table will be the most recent. I hope the video was simple and easy. See you in future episodes.